Hey, Shug. Welcome back to Nisi Girl Tarot. So, we're here to do the first part of February readings for Capricorn. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Okay? So, Venus is the planet that rules love and money. So, definitely check out your Venus. If you don't know how to find that, um, you can search your birth chart online. All right. If this reading resonates, go ahead and hit that like button and let me know, okay? I also like when you guys comment. All right, I'm doing a six card spread. This spread will look at your energy, your person's energy, the energy of their relationship, what you need to know, advice, and a potential outcome. How about it? And then I'm going to clarify for Capricorn. And I have some new decks, and I'm going to pull a um, Secret Moon Oracle for you. Oh my God. Okay. Or I also have some love messages for Capricorn. Okay, Capricorn. Your overall energy is the Ace of Wands Woo! with Temperance right behind that. Okay, okay. Restoration, rejuvenation. You have new beginnings here. Okay, first part of February. Your energy, Eight of Cups. So it's evolving. This is you walking away from something that was not emotionally satisfying. Okay, walking away from something, evolving, changing. Okay, developing as a person. All right, energy of your person, Emperor. All right. This is says divine masculine, but this is someone that's very strong, okay? Um, standing in their power, could be dealing with an Aries, okay? Energy of the connection, the page of swords, okay? This is uh, the card of finding out more information, needing to know more, right? The learner, okay? What you need to know? Two of swords, right? You have a decision you need to make, all right? This is about stalemate and indecisiveness okay this is you not making a decision okay and advice from spirit ten of wands burdens heavy burdens is what it say on the bottom of the card heavy burdens might be saying if the advice from spirit might be saying release those heavy burdens okay and if you do potential outcome the moon Ooh. okay that's the unknown illusions okay clearing up the illusions maybe you're gonna clarify capricorn don't worry okay so for capricorn sun moon rising and venus for capricorn first part of february what messages do you have for capricorn god what messages do you have for capricorn okay copy here we go why is the Ace of Wands here for Capricorn? Hold on, get some juice. When you do a lot of talking, yeah. Why is the Ace of Wands here for Capricorn? <laughs> Why is the Ace of Wands here for Capricorn? Okay, mm -hmm. this is the world energy. You're ending a cycle. Okay, ending a cycle to begin a new one. All right, one that is successful, one that you've been waiting for. Okay, this is about victory, like achievements. Okay, all right. Why is the Ace of Wands here? Four Capricorn is the overall energy. So you're changing. Things are changing for you here in the first part of February. Ace of Wands for Capricorn. So, you get the world, I mean, sorry, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Knight of Wands, okay, with the Emperor on the bottom and the Four of Pentacles. Now, the Four of Pentacles is holding back, all right, you have the Emperor energy here. This is someone that is taking control of a situation, that is bossing up, right, bossing up and taking action on something because it's time to, right? Because it's time to with the Wheel of Fortune. This is good fortune. It's time to move forward. Ending of a cycle, beginning of a new one, moving forward. Great. Awesome. Let's clarify the Eight of Cups for Capricorn. This is your energy. This is your energy. 
Why is the Eight of Cups here for Capricorn? They are evolving. For Capricorn, first part of February. Okay. That's you, Capricorn. First part of Capricorn. I mean, first part of February for Capricorn. Okay. You again. Knight of Pentacles. Okay. This is slow but steady progress, okay? It might have taken you a long time to evolve, okay? It might have taken you a long time to walk away from something that was emotionally not satisfying, okay? That's what the Eight of Cups means. Walking away from something that is not emotionally satisfying, all right? So, Knight of Pentacles is, you know, something that takes a long time. It took you a long time to do this, all right? The Chariot Energy, okay? You're moving forward. You're moving forward by yourself, okay? This is single and independent, all right? You've been going back and forth with that, okay? Um, back and forth with that idea, with that decision, not quite sure, okay? But this is you doing it. This is you saying, you know what? It took me a long time, but I'm doing it. I'm moving forward. I'm evolving, okay? New beginnings here, right? Why? Because you're bossing up with your emperor energy and you're using your intuition. I feel like spirit is guiding you towards doing this and you're listening. All right, three of cups coming together, maybe with a, a queen of pentacles. Okay, let's see what's going on. You're bossing up, you're using your intuition. All right, emperor. Your person has the emperor. Okay, so you're coming together with an emperor. All right, here we go. Why is the emperor here? <laughs> okay, why is the emperor here for Capricorn's person? Why is the emperor here for Capricorn's first hand? First part of February. Okay. All right. So you get the Queen of Cups. All right. This is a nurturing energy. This is someone that is very kind, very sweet, right? With the Ten of Swords. They're feeling betrayed. Okay. They're feeling stabbed in the back. And they might be coming off with this emperor energy because they feel like they have to. Right? Because this is a feminine energy, this is a masculine energy. Right? Ace of Cups on the bottom of the deck with the Eight of Swords. They feel like they have to restrict themselves from a new beginning. Okay? Or maybe they feel like they haven't, or, you know, that something has been, they feel like there's something that's keeping them from having this new beginning. Right? Or someone is keeping themselves back from having this new beginning. Clarify this emperor energy. Okay. So this is someone you have a lot of love for, Capricorn, with the Queen of Cups. All right. Clarify this emperor energy. Right. Queen of Swords. That's Aries Leo. I mean, Aries Leo. That's Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. And the Six of Swords. All right. This is some, your, your person's, your person's giving the energy of moving on because they feel betrayed and hurt. They're like, mm-mm, I'm moving on from this. <laughs> Listen, okay, I feel like it's because someone's been definitely holding back and they don't want to be a part of like drama or conflict, okay? Look, by the King of Pentacles, that's your energy. So let's clarify. Why is the page of swords here as the energy of the connection? It says thoughts. Why is the, mm -hmm. Yeah, someone's thinking a lot. Look at him thinking. Okay, about a new beginning, Ace of Wands. That's the overall energy, Ace of Wands, the passionate new beginning. All right, someone's been thinking a lot. So in this connection, people are thinking. People are reviewing and thinking. Okay, manifesting, reviewing, and thinking. Oh, everyone's thinking here. Okay, taking a break. Rejuvenation, healing, okay? Trying to um, manifest from um, after healing, okay? Emperor again, okay? With the Seven of Cups, I feel like your person, being that they have the Emperor Spirit, or Emperor Energy, is a little confused, all right? 
maybe even worried about whether this is something that they should um, go towards, okay? Whether they're, you're going to ever make a decision, okay? Um, or maybe even like whether they should make this decision. Clarify the page of swords for the connection. Okay. Yep. It's the King of Pentacles in the Strength card, right? Someone gaining the information that they need is, I feel like someone was very confused, like, of whether they should, like, you know, offer this love or not, okay? The Knight of Cups is, you know, the Knight that comes in and offers love. Someone was very confused about that with the Seven of Cups. They didn't know for sure, but they're thinking about it, right? But the overall energy is the Ace of Wands. So, let's clarify this Two of Swords because this is the this is the energy that you need to know, okay? The stalemate and the indecisiveness, indecision. Why is the Two of Swords here for Capricorn? Yeah. Okay. So whatever this stalemate energy is, it's causing heartache and pain. Okay. And someone's going to miss out on an opportunity with the four of cups. All right. Now you have the tower here. Okay. A tower is a divine intervention. The tower happens when things need to change. All right. Um, and it's to tear up some toxic energy, but Capricorn, that is your energy with the, um, devil energy. All right. Um, you need to communicate um, and with the Eight of Swords, this is self-imposed imprisonment, okay? This is you holding your own self back. There's no reason to, okay? Self-imposed imprisonment, all right? All right, so you have communication that you need to give. Um, and I feel like it's a decision, okay? With the Two of Swords, that's indecisiveness. This is what you need to know. This is tower coming down on that. Something's shaking that up. A decision needs to be made, all right? I feel like you're holding your own self from making that decision with the Eight of Swords. There's nothing holding you from making that decision, all right? It's causing heartache, and you're going to miss out on an opportunity, okay? All right. Clarify this Ten of Wands, okay? This is the advice from Spirit, okay? Six of Pentacles, okay? Equal give and take, okay? This is investment. This is um, giving and receiving, all right? So maybe that's been difficult for you, okay? It's been difficult for someone to walk away from something, maybe something that they were building, okay? Yeah, so it seems like someone is walking away from a long-term commitment here with the Four of Wands and the Three of Pentacles, something that they were building, okay? This is the advice from Spirit, okay? Six of Pentacles, I mean, Ten of Wands. Why is the Ten of Wands here? It's the advice from Spirit, Seem like something that someone was building was a burden. All right. Yeah. And it's keeping you from, it's giving you heartache, and it's making you miss an opportunity with the Four of Cups. Okay. You also have the star energy, which is healing. Okay. This is clarity, making the final decision. Okay, judgment, all right? Clarity, cutting something out, okay? Clarify the moon as a potential outcome. Why is the moon here as a potential outcome? It's like what you don't see. Clarify the moon as a potential outcome for Capricorn. Clarify the moon as a, okay. <laughs> yeah, what you don't see, what you don't see <laughs> is that you are blocking, okay? Um, and this is, you know, truth and clarity. This is like you're blocking um, your happiness with the nine of cups, okay? This is wish fulfilled, all right? You're blocking it. It's like if you don't follow the advice from spirit, if you don't, what you need to know is that you need to make a decision here, yeah? That's causing a stalemate. It's like you're blocking yourself. What you don't see is that you're blocking yourself. The moon is energy that you don't see. It's what you don't see. It's hidden. 
You're blocking yourself from truth and clarity, from a victory, from you receiving your wish fulfilled. Okay? Nine of Swords and the Hangman. You're causing your own stalemate. All right? You're stressing about progression forward. All right? But you're causing your own stalemate. All right? By not making a decision. Okay? But let's get you a Wisdom of the Oracle. Because it's only right to get you some wisdom in this Oracle. <laughs> Okay, Capricorn. If it's not you, apply to your person. Apply, who, apply to who it belongs to. If this reading doesn't resonate, then check one of your other places. For Capricorn. Message for Capricorn in the first part of February. Too many. Message for Capricorn in the first part of February. Message for Capricorn, the first part of February, please. There's only a couple. I guess I can read a lot for y'all. I only need 16 minutes for y'all. <laughs> for Capricorn. First part of February. You do all that was bad. Okay. <laughs> okay. Chop wood. Okay. Um, and on the bottom of the deck, it says loyal heart. All right. All right. Let's get your message. It's number 42. It reduces to six. And it's about balance. Six is about balance. 42. Here it is. All right. It's about being grounded in everyday experience, humility. Okay? I got to get my glasses. Mm. It says, nothing is as important right now as just doing what you need to do day to day. Let your heart remember that not everything has to be hard won, passionate, or even obviously meaningful. Relationships and friendships go through lows when the everyday tasks are at the center of awareness. That is perfect now. Hold hands, wash dishes, make a fire, read a book, share a meal, say nothing, stare into space, pick up socks, tell a dumb joke, and leave space to breathe. The work of your relationship right now is very simple. Just to be present. Funny how it takes work to just be. All is well, really. Okay? So, you have a new opportunity here. All right? New beginning with the Ace of Wands. Okay? That's what the Chop Woods card says. Okay? You have a loyal heart. All right? Now, I can give you a message of the Oracle because we had 18 minutes. I'm going to give you a message of oracle. Message of love oracle. Okay. And see what message comes out for you, Cappy. For Capricorn, first part of February. For Capricorn. Okay. What message do you have for Capricorn in the first part of February? Mm -hmm. Listen, self-care. I think it's backwards, but it says, clear your energy field and focus on yourself before acting. Okay? You got to clear your energy. All right? Go slow. Okay? It says, take time to get to know each other. Okay? Behind that, it says, past life love. Your soul remembers this intense connection. All right? Self-care. You got to take care of yourself, Capricorn. All right? It's... It's no work in just being. It's what the cop is what the car says. It's no work in just being. Okay? You're evolving. Okay. Things are changing now. All right. What you don't see is that you're blocking yourself from your happiness. Okay? You don't have to put any work here. Just be. Okay. 
So that's what I have for you, Capricorn. I hope this helped. And I look forward to seeing you guys soon. I miss you guys already. <laughs> Bye.